Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Close to the Sun. A game that is close to being fun. It just needs to stop trying so hard with the scares. Nice electricity you got going there, Tesla, my boy. It is, after all, what you were known for. This is Lead Researcher Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is Lead Researcher Archer calling for any survivors Anything? on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! Yes. What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... Ada! Ada! See, kids, sometimes you get rewards for being annoying. I wonder if there's more. Nope, okay. I'm not gonna sit there and hit it like a hundred times. Eh. I will kick the wastebasket, though. I'm not sure which way I should be going. There's two different hallways, but I'll follow one. They both gotta lead somewhere, right? So that's crazy, though. Ada claims that she didn't send us any letter to come here. Very weird. So who did summon us into this place of horrors, then? And why? What could they possibly want from us? Clearly it's a trap. The spider has lured the fly into its web, but for what purpose? It wasn't Tesla. He doesn't want us here. He thinks we're a spy for Edison. So who? Ah, the Helios. Named after the sun itself, a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race, and you are most, most welcome. What an egotistical prick. What sort of nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house? This one. Death Ray. This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war, once and for all, my dear Death Ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this, none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. Yeah, crazy. Radio waves aren't just great for transmitting sound, images, and energy across large distances, but with this radio-controlled boat, they can also be used to transport people. If you are here on the Helios, then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these. They are unmanned vessels, controlled automatically via radio signals. Less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning. Not that there was ever much risk. That is to say, you're safely here, aren't you? So. As well. Yeah, safely, quote unquote. Safely. Okay. What else can I learn about on this Tesla tour? Hello. The world, uh, Warden Cliff announces success, uh, resonance with other dimension. Only Tesla knows how it works. Dawn of free energy. Is Tesla violating the law of conservation of energy? Free energy threatens thousands of energy jobs. Riots expected. Interesting. Earthquake machine. Uh, 
Ah, the Tesla Tower, one of the most popular things he's ever my made. My first Tesla Tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race. It's gluttony for more, more, and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, and that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of feel like you're learning something, don't you? Maybe, sort of, a little bit. X-ray machine. When I discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the thing. And getting <laughs> Blanket radiation. Blanket silhouettes on the walls, capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. <laughs> this machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Yeah. That's why they give you that, like, lead blanket or whatever to wear when you get x-rays at the hospital. Earthquake machine brings down a city block. Seven killed and many injured as buildings came falling down. Misguided experiment creates damage at Wardenclyffe Warehouse Quarter. Promises of compensation and rebuilding efforts arrive from Wardenclyffe after a disastrous test of new invention. Stuff like that is probably why Edison decided to hightail it out to a boat in the middle of nowhere. Or, not Edison, Tesla. Right. Our hand's gonna come out of the walls. Scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? She says before she opens the door into an area that probably has an enemy to avoid. Or not, I could just be worrying for nothing. What Whoa, the... hello. Hey, we get to be see a little bit of what the place looked like in its heyday before everything went wrong. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sepia tone, Anyone? check. Masks, check. Pretentious art, check. Vintage decor, check. Bronze statues, check. What the hell oh. was that? Sorry, I was just checklisting all the things it had in common with Bioshock. And now everyone is a Dark Souls phantom. Rose? But more Are you angry. there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I say to what? I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday key card from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're okay. kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. Oh, okay. The key card so I gotta will go automatically take the elevator shit. to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe. Get key card. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you All right, soon, cool. Sis. I love you too. Eric, remember to write down the new safe code when you change it. Margaret had to come all the way from the tech labs just to reset the safe mechanism last week. She wasn't pleased. Don't mess up again. The new code is 142. No, you're not supposed to leave shit like that written down. Never smart. Oh, that must be the safe. Yep. It Down must be. To get it open. Oh, okay. One. I get it. Oh, you assholes. I see, I see, I see. Boom. 
Got it. Okay. I'll take that. Bingo. A key card for the elevator. Oh, it looks like they have an unlimited amount. Why can't I just take all of them? They give me access to everywhere. Seems useful. I forgot what I was talking about earlier. Ooh! The birds weren't a jump scare. The stupid character I'm playing as going, <laughs> was. Why you gotta do that shit? And why do I have the TV up so loud? That probably doesn't help. Okay, problem fixed. A little bit. Jesus criminy. Oh yeah, the trophy I got in the last episode, the silver one, um, I was like, oh, that's probably for finding all the passports. It's actually for finding all the collectibles in Chapter 1. So it was a good thing I went out of my way and had a little look see dooksy Because I got myself a trophy for my efforts. So, yeah. A silver one at that. So, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and apparently there's a trophy like that in every chapter for finding the collectible, all the collectibles in every chapter. Cannot promise that I'm going to do that. But still, this feels like one of those games that, like, after I beat it once normally, I can go back and play it with a guide and get all of the trophies to get the platinum. Yeah, it has a platinum. And it's not even that long of a game, apparently. There's a trophy for beating the game in under three hours, which to me means right. that it's not that a long works. game. Oh, see, I already finished the second chapter. That was it. That was it for chapter two. And I definitely didn't find all the collectibles because I didn't get the trophy for it. There's ten chapters in this game altogether, and 45 minutes in, we're already in the third one. Well, 40-ish minutes in. More blood. Always a great sign. Ugh. What is that smell? Well, it's either gas or death, so if it's that... Whenever people say that in a game like this, it's almost always a rotting corpse, or a burning corpse, or the smell of burnt flesh and hair, or... yeah. Hmm. Coffee, anyone? Is that another one? Yep, yeah, it's another one. Just like DJ Khaled says all the time. Rose, did you reach my apartment district yet? Yeah. But this door uh -oh. <laughs> won't open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. Okay, rude. I told you it was going to be a rotting corpse. Multiple rotting corpses, in fact. Oh my god! What's going on? They're in pieces, Ada. Shit. Get me out. How do I get out? Rose? Rose! It's going to be okay. Rose, listen to me. You're having a panic attack. Just focus on my voice, Rose. Close your eyes and just focus on my voice. Breathe with me. One leaf in. One thorn out. One leaf in. Oh, Rose. One thorn out. I get it. One leaf in. One thorn out. There you go. Good. Good. Time is Even not a river. Butchered, Ada. Who or what did this? We don't we don't know yet. But right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast to you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. The future you that called me here probably knows. What the fuck happened? Right, so I'm not going to worry about going that way yet. I just want to see what the hell else is out here. Should not have opened that door first. 
locked. Great. All the others are probably locked anyways, yeah. Newly opened Wardenclyffe operation in South America reignites tensions. Edison threatens to resume legal action against Wardenclyffe expansion. International court complications could delay power grid growth. Oh, Jesus mother! Well, I had a feeling something was going to be there, considering there was that phantom before. All right, now we go through the Hall of Corpses. See, I got a strong Layers of Fear vibe in that area just now. But then I open this door and come in here and suddenly Bioshock again. <laughs> well, yeah. I definitely see what the developers were getting at with the inspirations, but deny it as they may, Bioshock is definitely... It has a huge presence here. That's for goddamn sure. see what happened in there no sir I shall not partake of your visions from the past oh the phantoms yeah probably that's the only thing I can think of oh hell no it's dark as fuck in here that must be it let's see about getting some lights on in here Step one, make sure that the active line light is green. If needed, use the line control button to cycle between power lines. When the active line is green, you can proceed to step two. Line control. Line control. Okay, green. Step two, enter the access code 11213. When the code has been accepted... Okay, 11213. Okay. One, one, two, one, three. Okay, step three. When the access code has been accepted, you can proceed to flip the main apartment switch. All right, cool. That was a super easy puzzle. Like, that's basically what the puzzles in Soma were. I, now this now I do get the inspiration. Ada, ugh, about damn time. What took you? <coughs> what? Hello. Who is this? If you've harmed my sister, I swear to God I will break uh, every bone. Hey, hey, hey. I haven't harmed anyone. All right. My name's Aubrey, and it's really, really nice to finally talk to someone who isn't decomposing. You know. Never mind, sorry. But you have got to get me out of here. I'm holed up in the engine halls, starboard side, deck 82. Kind of trapped, actually. How soon can you get here? I don't know, I just met Look, you. Buddy, I can't make any promises. I'm going to get my sister off this thing, but if we can, we will come to get you too. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of course. Don't mind me. I just sit here and starve. No problem. That sounds great. Trying to you guilt know, trip me? Benny here in the corner died during the exotic energy leak, but he still has most of his spine intact. Maybe he can lend it to you so that the next time a person in need asks for help, you will have enough of a backbone to actually do something. Jesus! Ah. What the hell was all that about? Exotic energy? Alright, now let me read this thing. 
District message uh, to Maxwell District from Faraday District message contents. Is anyone still in Faraday? We need help. We're trapped in Maxwell with a severe e EXO leak. We have... We've tried to close it off, but it just keeps spreading. Some are hallucinating shapes in the EXO clouds, and it's just putting everyone on edge. We haven't heard from Sec Deeper, so quarantine protocol is still active, but people are considering making a break for the rail tunnels. Send someone. Anyone! Okay, so this is gonna be one of those things where, like, I'm gonna hallucinate things because of the spooky shit. Because of the gas. Hallucinations because of gas leaks. That's the way we do it. Alright, now we're kind of semi-open in this area. What we got here? To whoever is repeatedly stealing the toilet paper deliveries, I hope you die of rectal hemorrhaging. That's, uh... A toilet paper thief. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. That was a harsh... I hope you die of rectal hemorrhaging. That's fucked up. Okay, but yeah, I can, um, hmm. Royal Visit scheduled aboard the Helios, a series of seemingly independent purchases of bulk copper is traced through the shell companies back to Wardenclyffe, industry-wide copper shortage after Wardenclyffe coup. But anyways, yeah, I can definitely see the Soma influence in the fact that this game is almost a walking simulator with the occasional, like, Enemy encounter, I'm assuming. I haven't had any actual real enemy encounters so far, though. It's just been scripted shit. Hmm. I picked up a key card for something. Chest. Vita used to be great at it. I have no idea where I'm actually going, but I'm just going. Hopefully I find something. Anyways, though. But it seems to have a heavy focus on narrative. Putting you in a almost... There's that toilet paper they were wondering about. Putting you on an almost linear path. Oh, I can't open that. She won't even, it won't even let me interact with it, so. They give you so many areas to possibly go. I guess I'll go in here. Uh oh, another phantom. Hey, how's it going, Fanty Boy? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal this collectible, excuse me. Handwritten note. The obnoxiously curious 18 year old who visited last week, Albert, left his belongings in the wind guest suite. You could get in touch with our could you get in touch with our German Wardencliffe office in order to arrange the return shipping of his things? Thanks, Marta. P.S. We've received a special request for a piano to be brought to the Earth Suite. See if you can get maintenance to help out with transportation from the docks. Okay. Ooh, what have we here? Guest room key cards. Well, don't mind if I do. There doesn't seem to be anyone alive left in this place for the most part, so I'll just uh, help myself. Thank you for automatically using the correct one. Hmm. Happy birthday. Okay. Lots of balloons up in here. Excuse me. But oh, fucking goddamn pop. What's this? Photo of someone's wife. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> that's the script. A photo of a beautiful lady. Always, always, always believe in yourself, because if you don't, then who will, sweetie? All right. Very nice, thank you. What the fuck is with the balloons? Is that all this was for? Okay. I don't have a key for that one. Oh, hi. I don't have a key for that one either. That's a service room. Uh, I do have a key for this one. Note from Albert. 
Kind as Helios personnel, I realize that this probably isn't very proper, however, after a very illuminating conversation with lead researcher Archer, I must return the main to the mainland to pursue an idea. As fellow scientists, I'm sure you understand the desire to chase these rare moments of inspiration. If need be, chalk my hasty up escape up to overly eager youth. I thank you all for your hospitality during my brief yet very productive stay. Uh-huh, and that's why he's held prisoner now. Because once you join the Helios, you can never leave, I bet. I bet it's one of those things. Yep, there's Albert. Oh. Oh, it's Albert Einstein! Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. A very young Albert Einstein. Oh, well, you have to save him now because history depends on it. 33212. What is that for? 33212. 33212. 33212. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because I know I'm gonna need it for something. What though? I don't know. 33212. 33212. Let me go find the thing to put this in. Mm hmm. blood this one going up a ladder and into a room is it blood or paint though honestly because last time it was paint oh no this looks like a jump scare waiting to happen at the top of this ladder why are you going so slow thank you it's definitely death Prosper family photo. Aran Prosper with his wife Marie and sons Humphrey and Benjamin. Hey dad, this is the photo we took before you went aboard. We're looking forward to new stories on your return. Mom says hello, Humphrey. Hmm. It was a sad day for them. <coughs> Ow. Confirmed you take damage. Definitely means there's monsters in this. Okay, I need to figure out where this 33212 goes. Oh, another phantom. I have a feeling I'm onto something here. Archer Ada. Aha! Alpha Quarter. Now, I just need to find a way inside. Fuck. So now I have to find the key card for her room, even though I already found the room. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we will Rose? do what we can- Who are you talking to? Ada! Oh, thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. Oh, his name's Aubrey? I thought it was Albert. I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not Ada, what you now mean. is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen, we discovered quantum resonance anomalies that prove the one electron theory, meaning that every electron in the universe is the same one moving back and forth through time. So naturally, we began to consider a second time dimension attached to the Euclidean analogy of Minkowski space. Now, I know Ada. what you're thinking. Ada. What about the Thomson conjecture? Ada. Well, Ada, that's... Ada, 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 stop. It's me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. Nerd talk. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. <sighs> all of us. We've tried to contain it all, but... The point is, we need to leave. Did you find my apartment? Yeah, but the Alpha Quarter is locked. I can't get in. Don't suppose you keep a spare keycard somewhere. Shit. Lambda. Yes, I do! My friend Eliza has a pair. Lambda. God, I, I hope she's okay. She 
She's on the ground floor, Gamma Quarter. Gamma? Mm. Then her entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon guest order. Found it. Easy peasy. Right. I will get the override code and disable the generator. Easy peasy. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. I'm getting closer. I already got that code, so I know what to do with it now. 33212, I do remember it was. Can I actually go in here now? I can, okay. See, that's why it wasn't accessible. Oh, fuck! Oh, okay, I thought somebody hit me. Ah, uh, okay. I got this. Wow, someone really didn't want me messing with that. They chained it up and everything, but I fixed it, I did. And now I'm going for the quarters of the card of the key of the gamma. Or whatever. Live wires are bad. They electrocute. <laughs> I'm gonna run into trouble, most likely, because I'm squeezing through a thing. Okay, I was expecting a jump scare, but no. Bad things happened here, though. That's for sure. Undeniably. More phantoms. Excuse me, gents. I'll just be managgling along. Oh, what's that? Oh! Ada's last name isn't King, is it? Um, excuse me, what was that thumpity thump? Edison denies espionage allegations. Accusations are merely circumstantial. Wait, oh, I read that one already. Why are you putting the same newspaper in a different level? The circle must be broken. Sounds good to me. This big wide open area here seems a little... Okay. I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? Oh, I have a key card for this room. W. Stent. Stent? like that. I don't know. A lot of chess boards in this place. Holy shit. Why? So many chess boards. What is the point in this guy's room? There's nothing in here to interact with. Am I missing something? I don't think so. All right. I feel like I gave it a decent look. Oof, this cannot be good. Well, at least I don't have to go in there. Jesus. Whose card is that? Fairfield. Eliza Fairfield. Oh, and that's her right there. Hold on, let me see what the other ones are, because I'm pretty sure I have one for someone named King. Yep, here it is. Aubrey King. Ah, okay, this is... Can't be that many Aubreys on board. Could there? Hmm. Lead researcher Aubrey King innovates with a new solution for electricity generation aboard the Helios. Interesting. And this Aubrey guy is the one who wants us to, to save him. Letter of Demotion. Dear Professor King, this letter is to inform you that effective May 2nd, you are being demoted from lead researcher of the Weather Tech Department to coordinator of the Maintenance Division. Damn! Ouch! 
not having reached sufficient results in the uh, exploitation of the resources granted by Wardenclyffe, the company believes your long-standing knowledge of the Helios will be of better use in ensuring the functioning of the area's design for the con conservation of new energy sources. You have the right to appeal this demotion under the Wardenclyffe grievance policy. If you have any questions, meet Linda, blah blah blah, and yada yada and so forth. Okay. Ugh. These roaches or whatever they are running around indicates that nobody has, uh... Oh, come on, Aubrey. You put a face of... You put Tesla's face on your mirror? And cut the eyes out so that your face would be... It would be your his face on yours? It's That's just fucking weird, dude. Alright, now all I need to do is find the key card for Ada's apartment. We know what you did, do what we say, do as we say, when we say, or we will make sure your days aboard the Helios are over. We will be in touch. Uh-oh. Somebody had some dirt on your friend, Ada. Um. Where is the keycard? In the fucking bathroom? <gasps> oh, she hung herself. Jesus. Rest in peace, Eliza. Eliza's note. This is home. The Helios is the only place where I ever truly belonged. This ship accepted me for being me. I cannot put into words what it is like to suffer through life without finding acceptance or kinship. But here aboard the Helios, not only did I find kinship, I found friendship. I found family. And now I've destroyed the only family I've ever known. I'm alone again. I was never meant to end up here. Yet here I am, rope in hand with judgment at my door. I thought the barricade could hold them off, at least for a time. So naive of me. Their clouds came through unhindered, followed by the screams of my friends. I'm the only one left, alone, again. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. It was just supposed to delay the test. Just a delay, that was all. A delay in exchange for their silence so that I could remain aboard with my friends. Not that it matters in the end. My guilt won't go away, and so the solution won't change. If you can forgive me, I thank you with all my heart. If you can't, I understand and accept your verdict. I'm alone again. It's all my fault. So, what I'm gathering is she somehow played a hand in what happened here because she was blackmailed into it by someone who had some dirt on her. There we are. It is key cards. Let's go. Yes, let us hopefully get back unhindered. Although I have... Back to the Alpha Quarter. At least I know the way. Yes, we know the way. And that's the beautiful part. But getting there m may prove more difficult. First of all... The circle must be broken. The circle must, must be broken. Yeah, whoever that asshole is, I don't want to come in contact with them. And he's gone already. Sounds good to me. Alright, this way and up the stairs, then. To Ada's apartment. Please work. Yes! Alright, and now we have successfully made it into Ada's apartment. I see that silhouette on the other side of the window. That's a problem for another time, because we're going to go ahead and call it quits here. No, we didn't make it to the next episode, but you know what? I've been recording for like 42 minutes, so... Yeah. But anyways, that'll be it for this one. Let me know what you think of this game so far in the comments down below. Is it dragging you in any more now, or is it about the same as the first episode? It's starting to drag me in a little more. I, I, I am enjoying it. I wouldn't obviously keep going with it if I didn't, but... I'd be curious to hear your thoughts anyways. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a like. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day. Definitely. Video. Okay, bye.